Welcome to the Notice of Funding Opportunity Technical Assistance Recording for the Edward Byrne Justice Assistance Grant Comprehensive Law Enforcement Re Response to Violent Crime, NOFO. There are two categories under which you can apply. Each one has a separate NOFO. Please keep in mind to go to the correct link when applying to the program um, of your choice. All links will be placed in the description under this video. Um, all right. The first is important dates. The NOFO was posted on September 6th, and the NOFO question submission deadline is September 27th. Applications are due on October 7th. The Budget Committee review and approval of recommended designations will be tentative December 19th. And the period performance of the first grant will be nine months from January 1st, 2025 to September 30th of 2025. This program was developed through the JAG Strategic Plan of 2024 through 2029. The priority developed was to reduce violent crime and firearm violence in Illinois. Program considerations are programs with a comprehensive strategy towards violent crime and its contributing causes, multi-jurisdictional efforts, Law enforcement grantees must be NIBR certified and programs incorporating should be incorporating services for victims or those just as involved individuals. The purpose of the NOFO is to increase public safety and reduce the large scale and economic cost of violent crime through specialized law enforcement and prosecution. The solicitation is open to Illinois municipalities and counties and state agencies to provide violent crime reduction services and strategies in the community they serve. So we will be looking for actual services and strategies within your program narrative. No full eligibility. The solicitation is open to Illinois municipalities, counties, state agencies, and again, this is to provide services and strategies that will reduce violent crime in the communities they serve. Continuing eligibility. All applicants must be pre-qualified to do business with the state of Illinois, be registered through the Illinois GATA Accountability and Transparency Act grantee portal, be in good standing for all GATA pre-qualification requirements, and submit and obtain approval of the GATA State Fiscal Year Internal Controls Questionnaire before the execution of the grant. Funding categories. Funding will be awarded in two categories. Category 1 is for violent crime prosecution programs. Eligible applicants would be from the Office of State Attorney's Appellate Prosecutor, County State Attorney's Offices. Then we have Category 2, Multi-Jurisdictional Violent Crime Enforcement Programs. Applicants must identify here an implementing agency that will, on their behalf of the multi-jurisdictional team, apply for the grant. Eligibility in Category 1 for Violent Crime Prosecution Programs. During the grant agreement no negotiations, awarded applicants will be required to provide a memorandum of understanding demonstrating that they will have collaborative involvement with one of the other applicants, one of the other multi-jurisdictional violent crime enforcement applicants um, towards meeting the goals and objectives of this program. So this should be a collaborative effort. This program is intended to be a collaborative effort between law enforcement and prosecution programs. As such, 
eligibility for category two multi-jurisdictional violent crime enforcement programs must also provide a written interagency agreement with all participating agencies defining their activities and responsibilities. They will also be provided a memorandum of understanding that shows collaborative involvement with a prosecution program towards meeting these this program's goals and objectives. Provide a letter of commitment to staffing the program from each participating agencies. You must also be engaged in intelligence sharing via a computerized network. And lastly, be NIBRS compliant. Available funds and ranges. Category 1 for Violent Crime Prosecution Program. The funding is based on population size. Population size is listed below in the second row. The available funding ranges for each population size is listed below in the last row. Funding ranges for the multi-jurisdictional crime enforcement program is also based on population size. The population size is in the second row and the available funding ranges for each population size is listed on the third row. There is additional funding for one-time equipment and non-consumable supplies for Category 1 and 2. As you notice, there were a maximum funding ranges for Category 1 and Category 2. Each category can go above the maximum funding range for their program up to $12,000 for the one-time equipment and non-consumable supply supplies. Excuse me. Each applicant, as mentioned, can request up to twelve thousand, and the applicants the applicants can only request equipment that is in accordance with the JAG prohibited and controlled expenses. There will be a link to this provided in the description below. This will provide you information as to what equipment cannot be requested through JAG. The equipment and non-consumable supplies can only be for personnel listed on the grant budget, and the equipment must be directly related to reducing violent crime. A non-consumable supply is an item that does not need to be replaced periodically or within the 36 months of the NOFO period. The one-time equipment and non-consumable supply request will not be honored in any subsequent grant years. The projected funding period is from January 1st, 2025 to September 30th, 2025. Contingent on satisfactory performance and availability of funds, ICJA may recommend to its board a maximum of 36 months of additional programming. Amplifund. This program will be using Amplifund. It is a grant and fund management system and will be used for the entire NOFO process, from posting the NOFO to scoring the applications and the grants management portion. So please expect that all financial data and closeout reporting will be through the Amplifund system during the period performance of the grant. All application responses must be submitted via Amplifund, emailed, mailed, hand-delivered applications will not be accepted. In Amplifund, there are two different NOFO numbers for each category. The links will be provided below in the description for this video. Agencies may apply under both funding categories. However, 
A separate and complete application must be submitted for each category under the respective NOFO number. How to apply through Amplifund. This first step is that applying organizations must register in the Illinois Accountability and Transparency Act grantee portal. The second step is that the applying organization must identify an individual who will submit the application via Amplifund. This person will serve as a primary contact for this application. More than one individual can have access and complete components of the application via Amplifund. However, the primary contact must submit the application via Amplifund. Uh, to apply, go to the links. Again, they will be provided in the description below this video. Resources and guides. Links to these resources and guides will also be provided in the description of this video. Some of the links available are training guides on our website, how to use users through uh, the help desk called Zendesk. Zendesk is a help desk for Amplifund. If you have any questions or would like to view any more of the training or guides available, you may do so through Zendax.com. There is also a video that will help you on how to complete an application on Amplifund, and the two below emails can be reached if you have any questions on the grantee portal or if you have any questions on the Amplifund system itself. Additional resources. Um, provided through our website, can show you how to register in the grantee portal, can show you how to create a user account, how to register in Amplifund, how to complete an application in Amplifund, how to navigate the grantee portal, and the additional resource is available to help you write and have success in your grant. Amplifund registration page. This will be the landing page for the GATA grantee portal. Through the GATA grantee portal, you will be able to create an account, sign into the grantee portal, and then sign in to the Amplifund uh, portal. The links provided in the description below will allow you to click on the appropriate NOFO you wish to apply to, and once you are signed into Amplifund, you should be taken to the NOFO application. The public link and your sign into Amplifund will allow you to see a similar page for our NOFO. It will have our NOFO, this NOFO information here and you will have the apply button all the way to the right where you can start your application. Also to note on this landing page is the opportunities detail. The opportunities detail provides all of the information that is listed on the NOFO instructions. Um, it is a more condensed version for more complete NOFO instructions, please head to our website under Funding Opportunities and click on the NOFO instructions for the respective NOFO you wish to apply for. Evaluation and scoring. The second tab on the landing page for the NOFO is evaluation and scoring. Please read through this section as it will inform you what will be looked for in the application and how scoring will be allotted for each question. It will also provide you with information about uh, when to expect to receive notice um, and when budget committee 
designations will be made. Completing your application on AmpliFund. How to apply on AmpliFund a general resource PDF will be provided in the description below this video. The resource will guide you through how to complete the steps in applying through AmpliFund. As you will notice here, there are these bubbles. The bubbles will allow you to navigate through the different parts of the application. You will land on the first bubble when you hit the apply button, which is your project information section. The next section will be the application forms. By clicking the application forms bubble, this will take you to the program narrative questions. You will see a list of all the questions on the Amplifund website when you hit the application forms bubble as listed here. Now let's talk about the program narrative and the program design. <clears throat> the program narrative questions were developed to help you think through your violence reduction strategy. The first set of questions will help you identify the problem. This would be the summary of the problem and the statement of problem. The next set of questions will help you understand and hone down the nature of your problem. This would be the section of current status and data. These two sections should then inform your strategy, which you will have an opportunity to describe in the program design section, the program implementation section, and the goals, objectives, and performance metrics section. The last set of questions will guide you through evaluation of your program, how to gauge the progress and success of your program. This will be an opportunity. This will be here under the program management questions, an opportunity for you to describe that form of evaluation that you will be using. Program narrative and program design. Again, I would like to remind you that the purpose of the NOFO is to increase the public safety and reduce the large scale and economic cost of violent crime through specialized law enforcement and prosecution. We are looking to see within program design, violent crime reduction services and strategies for the community that you serve. In the NOFO under program design, you will notice that there is no specific design described in the NOFO for, for violence reduction. This is because there is no one size fits all approach to reducing violent crime in various communities. However, there are research and literature that provides best practices and known critical elements that have worked successfully in various communities. Applicants should use the guides below when assessing their violence reduction strategies and how you plan to enhance that strategy in this program. The one first guide is BJA's Violent Crime Reduction Operations Guide. This is meant for law enforcement programs to assess their program and how they can enhance their program. The Innovator, Innovative Prosecution Solutions Prosecutor's Guide for Reducing Violent Crime and Building Safer Communities is the guide intended for prosecution programs when assessing their capabilities and how to enhance their existing violent crime program. Program Design and the Guides. How to use the guides. The guides do not provide a one-fits-all recipe for violence reduction success. The guides will help you to assess your strengths, your weaknesses, and your capabilities with respect to several critical elements used in violence reduction strategies in other communities. 
The guide also suggests ways to enhance those capabilities and provides examples of policies and practices that might be developed or improved. The critical elements are a menu of ingredients that are available to help you create a custom recipe for your violence reduction strategy. You will be using data and assessing the nature of your problem to consider which critical elements to adopt that will enhance your violence reduction strategy, thereby creating a tailored recipe for your community. Program design and critical elements. While there is no one size recipe that fit uh, to, for violence rejection strategies, there are some critical elements and practices that were highlighted in our program NOFO. These are partnerships with governmental and traditional and non-governmental and non-traditional organizations. This will include your collaborative partnership between prosecution and enforcement. Another critical element is community engagement and addressing the needs of family of, of needs of victims and their families. You can use the guide to assess your capabilities in these areas and how to improve or enhance them for this violence reduction strategy through this NOFO. Now let's move on to the performance plan. This is a download, fill in, and upload document in Amplifun. Applications will be considered incomplete if this document is not filled in and uploaded. When completing the table, change every X with a gold number for your objective. Additional objectives may be added to your specific strategy for addressing violent and firearm crime in your community. Please keep in mind that any objectives that you may add and any goal numbers that you may add must be reasonable, measurable, and within the scope and the goal of the program. The budget and the budget narrative. Proposed budget items must have the following criteria. They must be reasonable, cost effective, necessary, and allocable to the purpose of reducing violent crime. In the program narrative, please include a program narrative for each budgeted expense. Where necessary, justify how the budgeted expense has the four criteria. Explain how you arrived at an estimated amount for a budgeted item. Say, for example, you are looking to include office supplies, um, consumable office supplies in your budget. You may want to explain how you arrived at the amount for that budgeted item. Was it based on how much you spent in supplies last year? Was it based on what a similar agency spent in their supplies? So it is important to be able to explain how you arrived at that estimated amount for the budgeted item. Also keep in mind that one-time equipment and non-consumable supplies are only for the funded personnel and must serve the purpose of the program. A reminder to save often in Amplifun. The Amplifun system times out after 20 minutes of inactivity. Clicking save and continue is encouraged as you begin to complete your information in the Amplifund system. Complete application. The following documents must be completed in Amplifund by 5 p.m. on October 7th, as this is the deadline for your application. You must complete a uniform state application this is a template found within Amplifund. The program narrative questions, again, this is a template found within Amplifund. The budget and budget narrative, this is an, a template found in Amplifund. The performance metrics and performance plan, this is the upload 
excuse me, download and upload function document that will be found in Amplifund. And lastly, the implementation schedule. This is also found within as a template within Amplifund. So the performance plan and metrics is the only document that will be downloaded and uploaded into the Amplifund system. If you have any questions for Category 1 or Category 2, please submit those to cja.jagvrnofo at illinois.gov. There is a question submission deadline, again, that is on Friday, September 27th at 5 p.m. All questions will be posted on our website. A reminder again on important dates. The NOFO was posted on September 6th. The last date to submit your questions is September 27th. The applications are due on October 7th. The Budget Committee Review and Approval of Recommended Designations will be December 19th, and the Program Period of Performance is tentative for January 1st through September 30th, 2025. Thank you for attending this technical assistance, and best of luck to you on your application.